Now let's move on to the next part. Okay, we're going to talk about electrical power. So what exactly is the power? Okay, power is actually the amount of energy converted. Okay, or you should say the amount of electrical energy used in one second. Okay, this is how we calculate electrical power. When we said that a light bulb has about 60 watts, we say light bulb having 60 watts. Okay, light bulb. Light bulb has a power of 60 watts. It means that it uses 60 joules of energy in one second. Okay, that's what 60 watts mean. So to calculate electrical power, electrical power, what we can do is actually find the energy used up divided by the time taken. Okay, time available, time used. So the energy we talk about here is actually electrical energy. Okay, and the and the units, obviously, if it's energy, it is in joules. And as for the time, we're going to use the SI unit. So this time here will be in seconds. Okay. So this is for electrical power. Now the SI unit for power is watts, which I've, which I've said just now. Okay, watts. The symbol is W. And also take note, 1 watt equals to 1 joules per second. This is the another unit sometimes used for power. So 1 watt is also equivalent to 1 joules per second. So some electrical appliances require more energy and their power sometimes is measured in kilowatt seen like this, small k, capital W, or megawatt, we'll see capital M, capital W. Okay, so take notes of this uh, little alternative in units. Now, some electrical appliances, these are their power ratings, so aircon, you can see 1 to 2 kilowatt, electrical kettle, 2 kilowatt, whereas for lamp, it's only about 40 watt, for electrical iron, 950 watt. You can see how the power varies for different electrical appliances. The key thing about power here is obviously you must know how to calculate. So as you can see here, take note, a typical question on power looks like this. So a hairdryer consumes 27,000 joules of electrical energy in 3 minutes. So what is the power rating? Take note, you can see this is in minutes here, so it must convert to seconds. Okay, because we want the electrical energy to be in joules, so this is okay. But this is in minutes, so this one cannot do. We must convert to seconds. So power equals energy divided by time. Energy is 27,000. The time is actually 3 multiplied by 60. Because 3 minutes is actually, this is 180 seconds. What you're going to get is, okay, what you're going to get is 150 watts over here. So just take note of this. Okay, this is how you do your calculation. Next one, okay, we have air condition power rating of 1.2 kilowatt. So how much energy does it consume in 9 hours? Typical timing that you use air con may for 9 hours on from about maybe 9 p.m. to about um, 9 hours, about 6 a.m. Okay, so how much is the energy used? So we have the formula power equals energy divided by time. We make energy the subject of formula. So energy equals to power times time. You can think of it as using the triangle. We have energy, we have power, we have time. So power is 1.2 kilowatt, so must convert this to watts. Okay, so that's why there's a multiply by a thousand. This one is to convert to watts. Okay, then 9 times 3600. This is because convert from hour to second. So that's why it's 3600. And you get a number which is 3.9 times 10 to the power 8, which is actually 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Chose. So 3, 9, 1, 3, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So such a big amount of, such a big number. So sometimes, we don't want to calculate electrical power or electrical energy. We tend not to use joules in real life. Okay, because you can see if we calculate in joules, the unit is, the number will be very, very big. So what is another way that we tend to use? Okay, in real life, we don't use joules to calculate consumption. We actually use this thing called the kilowatt hour. 
Okay, the cost of electricity consumed is actually calculated in kilowatt hour. Okay. Now, one kilowatt hour is the is the electrical amount of is the amount of electrical energy used by a one kilowatt electrical appliance in one hour. Okay, so how do we calculate energy consumed? The formula is actually energy equals to power times time, but make sure your power must be in kilowatt, your time must be in hour. Okay, so one unit of electrical energy is referred to one kilowatt of energy consumed. The cost, okay, generally we also always like to calculate the cost. We take the unit of electrical energy used in kilowatt hour, okay, we say the energy consumed, multiplied by the cost per unit. When we talk about unit here is one kilowatt hour. So we talk about the cost per one kilowatt hour. So example. Okay, below show utility bill for one month. You can see that the usage is one one two kilowatt hour. And the rate that they charge is actually nineteen point five seven cents okay per kilowatt hour or zero point one nine five seven dollars. Obviously, you take this two, you multiply, you get $21.92. So this is the cost of the household electricity. Now, let's try some questions. Okay, what happens if Singapore Power charges 18 cent for each kilowatt hour used? Calculate the total cost for, let's try A first, a 3 kilowatt electrical kettle for 20 minutes. This is fine because it's already in kilowatt hour. 20 minutes, this is no good because when we calculate that we need to calculate the energy first, it must be in kilowatt hour. So minutes will not do, we must convert to hour. And this is equals to 1 over 3 hour. Okay, how do I know it's 1 over 3 hour? You can just take 20 divided by 60 to convert it into hour. Okay, so let's look at the working here. Electrical energy used by the kettle, okay, is equals to energy equals power times time. So, a the power is three multiplied by twenty divided sixty, so one kilowatt hour. And the next part here, we need to calculate the cost. So the cost is equals to one kilowatt hour. We talk about the uh, energy used multiplied by the cost uh, and multiply by the rate. Right, energy is one kilo or multiply by rate. What you're gonna get is eighteen cents. So to use an electrical kettle for twenty minutes, we will spend about eighteen cents. How about the bulb? So the bulb we calculate that okay now let's look at the bulb question again. Let's go back up. We have a hundred watt bulb. Okay, we use it for five hours. 5 hours is alright, it's already an hour, so we can calculate kilowatt hour. But 100 watts, this is no good, because this is in watts. We must convert this to kilowatt. So 100, how to convert to kilowatt is 100 divided by 1000. What you're going to get is 0 0.1 kilowatt. Once you convert to kilowatt, you can start to do your calculations. So you can see here, I must convert the power to kilowatt which I think 100 divided by 1000, multiply by 5 hours, I'll get 0 0.5 kilowatt hour. Then how's the cost? So the cost is equals, once again, energy multiplied by the rate. So what's energy? The energy is 0 0.1 multiplied by the rate, which is 18 cents. Eh, sorry, 0 0.5 multiplied by 18 cents. So what's the cost? 9 cents to use my electricity. So this is the cost Okay, involved in using the uh, appliances. So do take note. Okay, now this marks the end of this part. We're going to move on to the next part, which is the dangers of electricity.